Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is day 239 of playing chess every day until 2000 ELO. And in yesterday's video, we finally reached 1800 and it's time to play our first game as an 1800. And we find an 1801. We start off with the white pieces and they're playing the Sicilian defense. So they go for E6. We're just going to stick to the plan. F4. They're probably going to fight for E5. No, so they just go right back into the Grand Prix attack. So we're going to develop our knight and then go here. Yeah, d6. I mean, a lot. Of, some people play d6 and like this kind of setup. But let's just go here. This is a bad move. They'll likely put the knight here. No, so they go there. I could take. Going back's bad because of this move. I could also just go here. But if I go here, then probably knight in. Then I have to take the bishop. A lot of times in the Grand Prix, we like to take the knight. So let's take the knight. And then we'll play d3. Now this is pretty much the the common Grand Prix setup. Except normally, you know, they castle kingside. But they haven't developed any of these pieces. So I'm, I'm kind of anticipating g6. This is a very common way of developing the bishop. But maybe they don't want to play into, like, the actual Grand Prix attack. So knight out. What does that do? Adds an attacker here. This isn't really a thing because I can just go here. Castling, I think, is the best move in this position. So we're going to castle. They might have some kind of pawn push, but I'm not really too afraid. Yeah, so some people like to play bishop here rather than fianchettoing because typically in the Grand Prix we go like this. It is kind of an annoying way of, of playing. I think queen e1... Or we could play b3 here. And the idea behind b3 is just to put all my pawns on light squares. Since I have a dark squared bishop. Maybe a queen here first. So that I can potentially go here. It's kind of an improving move. So let's play queen e1. They're going to castle. It's kind of like a no-brainer. The last two moves. Okay, never mind, never mind. So they're just setting up discoveries. Kind of a typical thing that people do. I could play bishop here. But then they go here. Bishop here. Queen takes rook here. This is defended, so it doesn't really do anything because typically, if you want to go for this tactic of giving up the b2 pawn and then going rook b1, you want to be able to capture this pawn. The queen would be out of play, kind of. Well, let's let's actually calculate it. So bishop here, queen b2, rook b1. Where does the queen go? Queen has to go here because it's the only move that doesn't lose. No, 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 there's this. I can also take this and then my position falls apart. So let's not do that. I could try to bust open the center. I could go here. But that opens up this. Also just allows this move. If I play king h1 right now, there's no discovery. But am I really afraid of this discovery is the question. I don't think there's a need to allow it. So let's just play king h1. It does get on this diagonal which, with this uh, strong bishop. But as long as we're kind of careful of that, I think we should be okay. So pushing e5 is definitely not the move. Now I'm thinking maybe like queen here. But I think this is a good move now. Just never allowing this to happen. Because if I go queen here. And I ever want to move this bishop. Which is kind of an idea. Pushing this pawn. And then maybe going here. This pawn will fall. And it's a fork. So to stop that we can just play b3. And now most of our pawns are on light squares. We can also think about going here even. And just controlling this diagonal. Maybe some a4 advances too. Never know. So if I go queen e3. For queen g3, I think they're just going to play knight there. And then there's not really much. The idea behind rook here, I think, is if I play here, takes, takes. They have discoveries. I don't want to open up this, but maybe it's not a bad move. Maybe. Here, takes, takes. Back, we just go here. It's kind of what I want to do. Maybe it's time to play f5. But if I go f5, takes, takes, it opens up the diagonal, which I didn't want to do. Maybe I just improve the queen. Improve the queen and then prepare to play f5 maybe. But if I go here, he has this jump as well. Maybe we go h4 to never allow the knight in. And it also just gives my king a little bit of breathing room if I want to play up. So let's, let's go here. And we also have ideas of just playing g4 and going straight for the king. And may, yeah, maybe... Maybe we put the or the bishop on b2 and then like play rook g1, have the king on h2 so that it's never in danger on this fight or on this diagonal. And just like go for this. 
He's getting all of his pieces into the game. The only thing I don't really like about this is that uh, they can just lock the center. Probably. Maybe not. So if I were to go here, is that too much? Probably. I think I should just develop my bishop and then try to connect the rooks before I go for any kind of attack. So let's go bishop to b2. Just a nice improving move. Yes. Yes, yes. So if I take that, I don't really think it's good. But if I play here... This bishop is now dead, but then maybe we can just go back or something. I think this is the move. It's going to have to go backwards. Let's lock the center here. We might even have this move. Takes No, we don't have that move at all. Yeah, it goes backwards. But now maybe we bring the queen in. I push. Knight here. Probably just gets booted away. <laughs> I kind of want to play queen to g3. And just have my queen there. But I don't really know if it's doing anything there. And we'll probably have to rotate the knight. Or do I want to go here? Do I just want to push the pawn? And then try to play like this? And then there's stuff like this. Maybe we bring the king up right now. King h2. Just so that I can like maybe play this. And there's no discoveries. Yeah, let's play king h2. If they ever play this, I just go here. And then we'll rotate the bishop backwards. More than likely. We need to activate our A1 rook. Maybe rook here. Just get ready for a fight, is what I'm thinking. Knight rotates backwards. Wow. So, is the plan to go here? Maybe I just play this? No. I want to play rook G1. I don't know. I need to figure out where my queen wants to go. Because the queen can't really go here. Because I want to be able to push the pawn. So maybe I use this turn to push the pawn. I just feel like it might be a little too early to do that. And then queen here is kind of the idea. And then I just bring the rooks. Okay. All right, let's do it. It weakens this, but then if they go here, we have this to protect the pawn. Also, if they go here, do we have push? Takes, takes. Probably not. We'll calculate if that's what happens. The reason why I want the pawns to go first is because I want my pieces behind the pawns. So that I can use the pawns as like a, a battering ram. You always hear top level players or like Gotham Chess and such saying that you need to lead the attack with pawns. So that's what we're trying to do here. It does open up your king, especially if you're trying to kingside attack. But here, there's no here because knight blocks. But that's something to keep in mind that if this does fall, then there could be potential stuff there. So I go here, what about this push? We just go here, block up everything. So let's bring the queen in. Wow, trying to fight back here. So they play f6, weakens the e6 pawn. But is that an issue? Here, if they take... Wait, wait, wait. If I take, they're just going to take like this. And then it's not really that great. So I don't want to take. That's for sure. Do I want to push f5? f5, they must respond. So they either have to go backwards or take the pawn. So here, if takes, takes. Then the knight has to move still. So the knight would have to go backwards. So here, takes, takes, knight to back, then just rook over. We gotta be careful of this diagonal. Here, takes, takes, rook back. We're always being cautious of this because they can take the pawn. I think this is just the move. F5 here. And if we open up the G file, that looks very bad for my opponent. But my king is not very safe. Oh, really? Takes, takes. Just getting rid of a defender, I guess. Uh, if I take, there's this. That's kind of his idea. But what if we go here? Let's just go here. Yeah, so they're trying to set up some stuff there. So if I go back, discoveries. So that's scary. I go here. Then I lose my rook. But do I? If I go here, if I just get out of the discoveries. There's this discovery. Yeah, but this discovery doesn't do anything because I have knight here. So I can go on the light squares. But I can also do this first. Then here. Then here. No, because if that pawn moves, then it's fine. I gotta be careful, though. Maybe getting out of the discovery now. But no matter what, they can push, right? Maybe here. Here, here. We go back. Then they can't push. So let's do this. Oh, but then there's that move, is there not? Yeah, I don't think our ta attack is really working out all that well. <laughs> I think we messed up here. Somewheres. We still haven't got our other rook into the game, either. So he's probably going to play rook f8. I need to move the queen. Maybe I can move the queen here. So that I can pot potentially have some, some stuff on that file. And I move the king. I'm going to move it 
right to the corner, I think is probably the best way. Now, more than likely, they'll play King of Faith. They just wanted to do the little intermezzo, I think. And our pawn is not scary. It's it's basically lost. But they did open up my bishop by playing e5. I can't really take. Takes, takes, takes. This is pinned. Push. What? What is that? Takes. What's the idea behind this? Takes. And there's a fork. I do have check. And uh, check here. Then they can always play this. I don't think they can hold on to that pawn, though. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Check. Check. Then we go here. And we're threatening mate plus the queen. Did they blunder? Okay, yeah, we go there. And then we go here. Threaten checkmate. And we're threatening the queen. But this is a thing, probably. Discovered check. Blocking. Oh, no. I got way too excited. Oh, my gosh. Oh, dang it. I played that way too quickly. Too excited. And now my bit, my knight is just trapped. Basically, my bishop's out of play. This is not looking very good. So be it. <laughs> His pawns are just very, very terrifying. And his bishops are. Everything looks so bad here. Oh, dang. We're going to fight on, though. We probably got a little too hectic. Yeah. Here takes. Oh, he's going to give me the queen. What if we just take? Take, takes. Takes, takes, takes. Takes. Is that not just a blunder? Take the rook. He takes like this. We take here. So we just. It's just a desperado, right? Sack the queen with check. Here. Takes. Takes, takes. I guess we just get an exchange, right? If they take with the rook, we take with the rook. Then we take here. I guess, yeah, we get the exchange. But our piece is just not good. Yeah, like if I go here, it's mate, but. We gotta be very careful of this pawn. Maybe we do this. Here, here. Where do we go here? And then this. And then here. And we're threatening that. I think this looks very strong. Ooh, I missed that move. Okay. We can still come in, but then this happens probably. Okay, let's get the rook in. Go here. Protected. And now we just wanna walk the king over to protect this. Yeah, let's go here and here. And once I get here, I want to uh, try and undermine these pawns by pushing c3. That's the idea. His king is boxed away. He can attack it. If he takes here, we'll take here. Do I have this? No. Takes. Okay, let's come here. I'll take the pawn. I'll take this pawn. The bishops are strong. Strong, strong, strong. Now he wants to undermine... My pawn's over here. I can go here first and attack. Actually, that's just a fork. Yeah, because we're hitting both, and they cannot protect each other. And my opponent resigns. And we hit a new peak. 1808. I do not think I deserve to win this game, if I'm being 100% real with you. But we got the dub. We take those. And uh, yeah, my opponent played with a 78.3. I played with a 79 point, 70 point nine. So let's take a quick look through this. I think I need to... Really, you know, study up on these positions. My opening is decent. You know, we get out of the opening. And we have a slight edge. It's kind of equal here. Push, it's fine. Yeah, I got a little ambitious here. I needed to just... See, I wanted to play queen g3, but I thought pushing the pawn and putting the queen behind was going to be a little bit better. And then we blundered. What am I supposed to do? Take... And, he, and black's still better, but uh, here they missed something, which was actually doing that. Yeah, wow. Okay. That was a big miss, and we're in a lot of trouble here. We do that, and we tried to go for this, but we complete. We got so excited here because <laughs> I thought, I thought that uh, since we were bl we were threatening mate, that they're gonna have to give the queen or go here and like relieve some of the pressure. But no, they have this blocking the bishop and then they completely blunder. This shouldn't be, this is not a miss. This is not a miss at all. This is a blunder. What? What did I miss? Take the queen and then if they take rook in, a, b, and then we strike here. Oh my gosh. And if they try to go here, we just keep going through and get rid of the dangerous pawn and then we double up. Now we're threatening mate because check and then... Wow. Okay, well, I took, and then they take back. 
which I apparently gave them an option. Oh, if they take with the bishop, it's not even an exchange, is it? Oh, it's, yeah, it is. Why is this only, Why is this plus one and the other one's like higher? This plus three. Okay, well, we get the rook in, which is good. And then we bring the king. This was a mess. This is sacrifice? What? Why can we sacrifice here? Oh, because we have the fork this way. Wow. Can we take? It's the only move. And we... Oh, what? This is a blunder? Hold up. Oh, because if we take here, they take and they have a path pawn. If we take and get greedy, we can't actually stop it. Oh my gosh. And my opponent resigned here. So in this position, we have to take? Is that the move? No. What is the move here? D3. Strike. What happens after takes? We take here. Then they take. We take here. They take. But we have this. And it's supposed to be a draw. Like, like this. It says here. Here. This looks so scary. And get behind. They probably protect. My gosh. And my opponent resigns in a winning position. Insane. We're only going to be playing one game today. But if you enjoyed that game, leave a like, comment, and subscribe.